Zach here from Huntley Marine on the Mississippi River with the great guys from Excel. Today we are on the brand new 2025 Stormcat Deep V. And this boat overall is 21, well not overall, from bow to stern is 21 foot in length. And then you have a two foot, you have a two foot transom bracket as well. In this boat, it does have a live well that is 100 gallons. It has a removable bait portion, so if you want the full 100 gallons, you can remove that and you have the full 100 gallons. This boat also comes with a 70 gallon fuel cell that is a belly fuel tank in the center of the floor, so you can make them long runs. Um, this boat does have an option to have two extra seats in the back so you can turn around these seats and fish four people if you would like but it comes standard with just the two and these are the uh, uh, shock seats so you can when you hit these big waves in the Mississippi like we're about to with this barge behind us saves your back um, we have ran this boat up and down a few times and the speeds are very impressive. Um, I'm not gonna tell you what we got, we're just gonna show you. But uh, we are on the Mississippi, we're gonna go down river one time and then we're gonna go up river one time so you can uh, see the speeds. If you don't mind, uh, video that as we go down. Like you saw in the video this boat straight up flies it gets on plane very easily now i've never had much experience in the deep v style boat but even coming across some of those wakes from that barge you don't even feel them the boat cuts right through them um, 65 mile an hour down river um, we're going to turn up go back up river show you what to do going up river as well going up river I think this boat on a lake is going to be in the 62 to 63 range once we get the right prop right now we're running with a 19 pitch prop um, I believe the sweet spot's going to be right at 21 but we still got a little bit of testing to do um, but overall man this boat is built like a tank I expect nothing else from Excel um, even looking around and looking at the welds everything looks top of the line um, they do have several features in this boat. Um, are the speakers standard? No, they're not. Okay, so you do have a JBL radio system in here that's mounted. 
obviously your uh, batteries, your batteries for your trolling motor will be back up into here. Um, and you can access from this side as well and all that's just open up underneath. You also have a rod locker as well. You should be able to get somewhere between 10 and 12 rods in here. Um, this is only the second boat, so I know they're consistently making a few changes, making things better. So when you get to your boat, if it's not exactly like this, you know it's just a little bit better. Um, what else is there? Both of the, this boat comes standard with two windshield wipers. I believe it comes standard with two windshield wipers. And let's go check out this front deck. Now this front deck, it, it, it kind of looks smaller in the pictures, but in all honesty, it is plenty big enough to um, throw a cast net or do whatever you need to do. If you just look at the sidewall, the gunnels on this thing, they are just massive. They're huge. And it feels like it is just slapped solid. And if you go to the back, you bend over. I mean, I'm not the tallest of guy, but I cannot touch the water. Some people might think say it's a good thing. Some people might say it's a bad thing. But when you are fishing big waters, you know, having these 35 inch sides is a must. For dealers out there, it is very easy to rig and install things because these compartments just open right up and you can see everything. And you also have lights in here as well. This boat does come with three 1200 gallon bilge pumps. It has two 1200 gallon pumps for the live well. So one, two, and it also has a recirc. Well, it has the two big drain holes. They're an uh, inch and a half drain holes. And I believe they might be making a change to this to make it so where it is uh, flush mounted so you get all the water out of here. If you are an offshore guy or you like trollings for stripers, they do have a kicker motor option as well. That kicker turns with the main motor and you have your own um, control for it up there at the front. Right there. And they've literally thought about everything on this boat. They got this built-in ladder right here. Pull that pin, folds over. You got a grab handle. I mean, everything is just built solid. You don't have anything plastic on this boat. Everything's all raw aluminum, thick aluminum. What is the bottom on this boat? It is a quarter inch 5086 on the bottom of this boat. And the whole and the whole transom, yep. quarter inch. Yeah, swim deck transom. So that would be 0. 0.250. Yep. That's pretty daggum thick. <laughs> yeah, what are what are the sides? 0. 0.16, 50, 52. Okay, so 0. 0.16 Same zero. Table, huh? Okay. And then uh, the majority of the boat is 0. 0.160. Awesome. Oh, a lot of the are all well, this boat is truly something special. I think uh, a lot of big big water guys know this boat is not for everybody, but a lot of the big water guys, I think y'all are really going to enjoy this boat. Like Great Lakes guys, people that maybe want to catfish a little bit and then, you know, run 50 miles offshore to the reef, you know. There's several different things that you can do with this boat and it will handle anything you throw at it. <clears throat> well, we're going to run this boat up and down a few more times, maybe take a couple more videos, and uh, we'll be back.